Hey, hi everyone. Today we're going to see the BDD inside uh, a test complete uh, from SmartBear. So this is going to be a quick introduction for the beginners. So how to use BDD and how to use the BDD within a test complete. And it's going to be really easy and simple. Okay. So I have the test complete open. Right. And I have created a project with BDD framework okay so on the project I'm going to right click add new item so BDD is business driven development and we have the scenarios which is inbuilt in test complete now right so I got the scenarios a collection of uh, test scenarios I'm going to add a new item and it's going to be my feature file I'm going to verify login. I'm going to click OK. So I got the feature file getting generated, right? So I'm going to verify login. So what is the scenario is? It's going to be very simple as you do for manual testing. And you can give the steps as you want. Okay. So this a scenario is verify valid username and password right. maybe the feature verify login for web orders precondition so what to, we have to do before verifying the valid and the precondition is login into web orders why right. when and then when entering the username and password and validate whether it's a valid username why so this is the feature file I've created from this scenarios you see it's very simple so now I'm going to right click and I'm going to get generate step definition right you see the step generation getting dev, uh, designed for the given introduction uh, 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 login to web orders and when entering the username and password then validating the username right so for login into web orders what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch the browser right item and I'm gonna do it with Chrome I'm gonna run run I'm gonna take The web orders, right? So this is my web orders link. So I'm gonna run it. Then I'm gonna give browsers dot item the same browser Chrome dot navigate right to the given a login. Got it? Then I'm going to enter username and the password, right? That's the next step. So I'm going to highlight the elements. So first step, I'm going to enter the username. Right. So I have used name mapping, which is a test complete feature, which stores all your objects. Right. So. I have copied the first step. This is my username. So as we know, we're going to use set text. Yeah, and for the application, the username this is a sample application. So the username is tester. Then I'm going to get the next password box. So I got it on the name mapping. Right. I'm going to make the next line. So on the password for this, right? So I will use the other method, keys, password box, right? So under this test. So after entering this, I'm going to use. I'm going to click on the login button. You see, and also here you see they have given the username and the password. 
the sample application right so then enter test company to enter into the application and I'm gonna click dot click I got it so then I'm gonna validate this so how I'm gonna validate this I'm gonna log in into the application right tester the password is test I'm gonna log in so I'm gonna check gonna check whether the web orders this one exists then then that means it's added rightly the login right so here I'm gonna do a validation point so I'm gonna check and if else so in test complete we have the template so you could right click go to the code templates get the if else I got the if else so for the if I'm gonna check whether the web orders logo dot exists then I'm gonna say log dot message logged in right it's gonna be valid username and password and in the L statement, I'm going to make log dot warning, right? Invalid, so name and password. So my BDD test is done now, right? So the first step is like your uh, login. We are, we are logging into the web browser application. I have initiated the Chrome, the browser, and I'm navigating to the stuff. And then when I enter the username password, I enter the username password and I've clicked, then I'm having a validation stop. Right? So here this is my feature file. Right? I'm gonna close. Browser now. I'm gonna run the scenario. Got it. So it's launching the browser. Right, does enter the username and the password and the login. And it's verifying the stuff and your BDD test is done. So this is a login into the web orders, launching the Chrome, navigate to the browser, navigate to the page, next entering the username password, enter the username tester, right? Then it got validated, right? So this is your BDD test from test complete and it's really simple and you have a good reporting structure now for the test execution summary, right? And do you, if you have more a question you can reach to me this is my WordPress which I use if you have anything to read or learn you can just come and learn here and you want me to contact directly you can contact me on LinkedIn this is my LinkedIn profile right and the best thing is you you can get me on the community smart be a community we have a lot of community people who can help you and I, I hope you you like this sh short introduction video for test complete and BDD quick introduction for the beginners and it's really simple and cool thank you so much